Hey folks, it's Antar and I am back. Some of you might be wondering where I went and it wasn't on vacation. It was back to my DS games for more breeding and raising. There's a brand new OU doubles team. Um, five of these Pokemon are brand new breeds. Only uh, Pazuzu, my Zapdos, have you seen before. Um, and uh, here we go. Uh, my opponent today is using lots of Ubers, but you know what? I really don't mind anymore. Um, Ubers is no guarantee that the guy is any good, although this guy was decent. Um, anyway, um, Zapdos uses Thunderbolt, uh, which uh, takes Rayquaza down a couple notches. Um, Dialga uses Roar of Time, um, which, thanks to Zapdos's bulk, Zapdos survives. And then my uh, and then Rayquaza uses Dragon Claw, which doesn't do too much against Dusk Noir, who's pretty bulky. Um, and Dusk Noir uses Trick Room. After all, what else does Dusk Noir do? If you see a Dusk Noir, especially as a lead, it's going to be using Trick Room. There's pretty much no other role for it. So if I'm using a, a Trick Room team, why the heck do I have a Zapdos, you might be asking yourselves. Um, well, the answer is Zapdos is pretty fast for when the Trick Room goes down, but there's also another reason that uh, you didn't get to see today, but hopefully you'll get to see at some point in the future. Anyway, I have Dusk Noir heal itself with Pain Split, an awesome, awesome move. Um, I mean, pain split, not what I just did. It didn't actually hurt uh, Dialga as much as I thought it would. Anyway, um, uh, what's his name? R Rayquaza uh, uses Dragon Claw against Dragonite, but Dragonite survives with quite a bit of HP, um, which is pretty impressive uh, considering how powerful Rayquaza is um, and the fact that I have invested nothing in Dragonite's uh, defense. Anyway, um, Dragonite uses Rock Slide, uh, Dragonite is my uber killer. Um, it can counter pretty much all the dragons in the game, including Dialga, um, although you don't get to see him use Earthquake this turn, uh, this game. Um, Dialga uses Roar of Time, luckily targets my uh, Metagross, doesn't actually target Metagross, targets uh, Dusk Noir, I guess, um, but whatever. Uh, Metagross uses Hammer Arm to kill Dialga. Um, Metagross, oh, that's, sorry, I didn't uh, introduce him. That's my shiny Metagross. Uh, my first shiny uh, RNG breed. I love that little guy. Um, I guess it's not that little. But anyway, I love the way shiny Metagross looks. And I've wanted one for a while, but I hadn't had the skills uh, to breed it. Uh, anyway, um, Dragonite, who has Life Orb, um, uh, does a lot of damage against Blaziken. Blaziken misses with Fire Blast. I guess it was targeting Metagross. Um, but, you know, actually, a little secret between you and me, it wouldn't have done much anyway, uh, which you'll hopefully see why in later battles. Um, Blaziken's taken out um, and does a bit of damage to Kyogre, um, which is his last Pokemon. Um, yeah, so this guy uh, only uh, almost didn't break uh, VGC Claws, but he did, so kind of cheap. Anyway, uh, Rock Slide finishes off Dragonite um, with the Life Orb Recoil, but it also uh, pretty much cripples Kyogre, who's using Water Spout. Um, and so that does practically nothing to Metagross. And this battle is over, especially since um, one of my two, or one of my three surviving Pokemon is Zapdos, who gets to come out just in time for the Trick Room to end. Um, so Zapdos uses Thunderbolt to finish off uh, Kyogre, and I've won the match. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing this Trick Room team. Um, I'm going to be using it a lot more. I love it. Uh, anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Um, so long, peace out, and I've got another new team for you coming soon.